It's the day before Thanksgiving, and I'm very thankful to be living so close to La Jolla Shores. It's been two weeks since I've been in the water, so I'm getting that itch, and I'm going to meet up with the guys. So it's literally been two weeks since I last dove, and I couldn't get to La Jolla Shores fast enough. I really was excited to actually get down there. I was meeting up with Pedro, Brian and Jason, and Pedro had a bunch of his friends join us uh, who were visiting from Portugal. And we also had one other diver who is interested in doing Tech 40, so he wanted to meet us and just do a fun dive with us. So we headed out, and the vis this time of year, of course, this time of year, the visibility of La Jolla Shores is nothing but amazing. I mean. Look at this. I'm using my 360 camera, which I personally don't think is the greatest of cameras, but um, if you have good lighting, the 360 camera, Insta360, does a really good job. And today, uh, visibility was amazing, like 35 plus feet of viz, and the lighting was fantastic. We did a dive at around uh, 2.30, almost 3 o'clock and the canyon was beautiful. I mean, we're going through the uh, sand dollar patch at the moment, and it was just amazing. I wish the Viz could be like this always, but, you know, California diving is so unpredictable. The water was very cold, 53, 52 degrees at depth. We didn't go too deep. We just kind of stayed at the upper ledge of the canyon at around 60-ish feet, but again, like I said, amazingly beautiful. Get out there and do some diving. You've got a five-day weekend, so you've got plenty of days to choose from. Obviously, we're gonna be eating a lot of turkey tomorrow, but burn it all off Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So here we are finally making our way into the first lip of the canyon. And um, the area that we connected at is kind of like a slope. It's not really a, a, a total drop off. It's just kind of a slopey slope, just I guess south of the Seeker Garden. Hello, my beautiful friend, the sea anemone. I just love sea anemones. They're so, like, beautiful and deadly at the same time. Kind of like my wife. Beautiful and deadly. <laughs> she probably wouldn't appreciate that. So there's still a lot of squid out, but not as many squid as um, I've been seeing other posters post on uh, Facebook and YouTube. Here, again, it's not dark, so I assume there are probably going to be more squid swimming at night than there are at 3 o'clock during the day. But um, we did see a couple of squid, you know, a couple of cool schools. And here is a nice um, sculpin. <laughs> he was kind of uh, agitated that I put the 360 camera right at him. But uh, it was very interested at it, and it actually tried to eat it at one point. I think in a couple of seconds here, you'll see him take a big bite out of it. Um, 360 camera kind of does it really well, but um, it, it actually got its mouth almost off, uh, around the entire bulb of the dome but it didn't look like it just from the footage itself, but uh, kind of a cool, cool little thing. Sorry, little guy, I didn't mean to agitate you too much. And here is the orange anemone, my very favorite color anemone here in San Diego. So beautiful, so deadly.
just like someone I know. So we started to make our ascent and we saw uh, a, a couple of crab just kind of hanging in the wall. Went up over the uh, first lip of the canyon ledge and we were greeted by all these crabs so I had to say hello to these guys and made our way back. Get out there and do as many dives as you possibly can before our storm season starts. I hope to see you down below.